Hi guys. Get down, do this. My cat's on the table. Get, get. Gonna wait till I see some of you come in here. Um, Raquel will be here any minute. And we'll start talking to you guys. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I hope you guys are safe and sound in uh, quarantine and with your family and loved ones. Hopefully nobody's sick out there. And if you are, um, take care of yourselves. Hope you guys are all stocked up just in case we do go under actual quarantine. Like, can't leave your house. I know some states are already that way, so maybe you're already that way. I uh, hope you guys are keeping yourself, you know, busy. Uh, yeah. We're not actually under quarantine just yet. We're, we live in Colorado, um, but basically everything shut down. Our workout was good. Um, Raquel kind of killed us a little bit. Did um, four rounds, half mile run, then some kettlebell swings, some deadlifts, um, where you go like this with the weight and up. I don't know what it's called. Um, what else did we do? A plank. Uh, rear deadlift thing, but like, babe, what's that one called? The deadlift thing with your leg? Single leg RDL. Single leg RDL. Bunch of this stuff. She's coming. Then we'll start. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Raquel Pennington. Woo! <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. What's up, guys? Um, so I did ask you guys to like send me questions of what you guys wanted to hear from us or whatnot. You guys can ask us questions and some like, stuff like that. <laughs> My cat wants to join in. Um, move Dubai. Dubai move. Um, you guys can ask questions. We're, we're, we're going to first answer some questions that you guys had for us. Um, Raquel will hopefully get off her phone soon. This is our date night. Actually... Tisha didn't do this very well. She's using her phone to do. I already know. I remember this live. But if you guys want to just shoot me some messages, um, they can't shoot you messages. Hush, because they're gonna be on the live. Oh my god, they can join back in. Oh, just write it right here. Okay. Anywho, I know what you guys asked. There's only like is six. Anybody else's significant other driving them crazy yet? Because uh, this is about what we've been doing all day. Small bickers. She's about to get quarantined with the dogs. Anywho, so one of the main questions you guys asked us is, um, one is actually pretty cool, is how did you guys meet and what were your first impressions of one another? So I don't really remember my first impression of Raquel because we did meet eight years ago. But I do know like back in the day when we were in Invicta, that's how we met, Invicta. So that's why one of our dogs' name, uh, the first dog we got together, her name's Invicta. So we met in 2012 at Invicta FC3, and I was, <laughs> she don't got the Rona, don't worry. <laughs> um, it was my pro debut, and I think like her third pro fight? Yes, Raquel, Raquel Phil the quarantine, Oh, It was her um, third fight. And then we met there, and from there on, I kind of followed her career and all the other girls in the, the Invicta and in the UFC. At the, well, there was no women in the UFC at Invicta in the time, at that time. Raquel thought I was so cute back then, so I know her first impression of me. Her and her cousin thought yeah. I was the cutest thing ever. Do your own impression. Okay, go your impression, baby. No, you're I, stuck I, in yours. <laughs> I, that was my impression. I don't remember, like, that was like seeing you. Like, I, I do remember seeing you, but I don't remember, like, having a first impression or first, like, encounter. I just know I knew you, and I followed your career from then. What was your first impression? Mm, my first impression, obviously, like she said, we met on Invicta. Um, all I seen was this little ball of muscle, and I was actually really intrigued with the way that she walked at first, just because she's so bull-legged. And then, um, after her actual fight... Just seeing how feisty, I mean, I can see where her little tornado comes from. Seeing how feisty she was, uh, I definitely became a fan of her fight style and followed her from there. Yeah, but when it like all started, when we started dating or whatnot, the year, be like we had seen each other throughout the years at fighting events, stuff like that. But the year before we started dating, Let's see that walk. <laughs> <laughs> have you watched The Ultimate Fighter? They have a gift of it somewhere. I'm sure you can find it online when I'm like moving out of the my cat. Thank you, Dubis. Ooh, do best with your tail. Uh, a gift of it. <laughs> <laughs> of it. Um, but anywho, the year before we started dating, we met up in Texas for an event. Who named you the Tiny Tornado? I'll say that after.
after I'm doing this one. You're going too slow. You're missing all the questions. Okay. Hi, California. I know you guys are in quarantine. Um, anywho, that night we went to Denny's um, together. We ended up going to Denny's together. And she was, like, telling me her drama, her girl drama, like, these two <laughs> girls. And at the time, like, now I know who they are. But um, it was just, like, pew, pew, out one ear, in the other, whatever it's called. In one ear, out the other. In one ear, without yeah, the other. Yeah, yeah. But Raquel was feeling me that night, and she was, like, trying to hit on me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's just stop her now. She's, she... Tisha likes to toot her own horn sometimes. We met, or we, uh, we were both doing a meet and greet in Texas, yes. Um, and uh, I was actually doing a meet and greet. I was signing, doing a signing at the time. She came up, she said hello, we took a picture. Uh, we've always just kind of crossed paths and hung out at different fights and whatnot. That night she was with her boyfriend at the time. And we went out <laughs> to eat, like she said. This girl, for being so tiny, I was just really intrigued with how much food she ordered and how intense she was eating. And all I was trying to do was invite her to train in high altitude. Come to Colorado, she can train. There's different training partners here. Yada, yada, yada. And it's so funny because now that we actually started dating, she was like, I know you were hitting on me that night. In reality, I wasn't hitting on her, but I will give you the credit that I've always thought you were a little hottie. Um, Mm -hmm. So I think Tisha that night subconsciously was kind of hoping I was hitting on her. It was all coming out. <laughs> okay, a year later after that, uh, that's when we started dating. And to uh, reverse back to that, when she invited me to train again, is when she, <laughs> that weekend when I started to like her, is you invited me to train again. That's when it all began. Yes, you did invite me to train. And then, oh. yeah. So when someone invites okay. you to train girls, they, they're trying to get you to train with them oh and then train gosh. with them. But anywho, that's kind of how we met. Um, I did say someone, the tiny tornado, I was living in Georgia at the time, and just because I'm small, I'm 5'1", and at that time I was only fighting kickboxing, I was getting into MMA, and during that time I would throw a lot of like spin kicks and back fists, like spinning back fists and stuff like that, and I'm fast, and I'm just like, that's how I got the tiny tornado, kind of went well, and then my name, Tisha Torres. How tough was the ultimate fighter with all the girls Mm. coming at you? Mine was this caddy, very caddy. All, not all of them. Half the girls already had some type of relationship she prior. To train with you, all right? Uh huh. <laughs> Half the girls already had some type of um, easy way in, you know. Some type of like relationship with each other because we had fought each other, so that kind of made the cat- cattiness uh, go from there. What did that one say? And I did a uh, junior taekwondo and American freestyle uh, karate. Um, somebody asked, um, "What other children. female fighters do you find sexually attractive?" I don't want to know that. <laughs> I know some that she does, but I don't want to know that. I'm oh, telling you guys Lord. that. Anywho, come in the screen a little bit more. Oh, so I you can see your pretty face. Oh, gosh. Oh. Um, so, um, yeah, that was something that a lot of you guys were asking about uh, our wedding and children. So do you want to answer that one? Our wedding and children? Yeah. Um, so we are actually... Trying to plan a wedding while being professional athletes in the same field is extremely hard. If it's not me in fight camp, it's been Tisha, um, and we just have not had the time. So we've actually been slowing down, taking some time in between things. Uh, We're hoping to actually plan a wedding for September. And um, babies, that's been a huge talk because I definitely want a little rocky. Babies sometime babies sooner than later we'll see um that's been uh on the back burner actually it started actually like two years ago but then it became a back burner because we both kept getting fights and deciding to fight uh and then you guys have rings already we do have rings we do but we wear rubber rings a lot just because we're always in the gym lifting stuff tisha is actually on her second engagement ring because she doesn't know how to keep everything placed from going in and out of gyms. The second one is even better. Thank you. <laughs> How's that work? That was supposed to happen for 10 years, wasn't it? How long have you been on steroids? Well, Joey, <laughs> you can bye-bye because none of us have been on any of that. Thankfully, we're homegrown. Uh, when fighting another good-looking fighter, do you make eye contact to say, I like you already? <laughs> um, no, I don't know. In the zone. <laughs> yeah. All right, actual other questions that we've... Oh, who will carry the baby? Uh, 
she's trying to convince me to carry a baby just to experience it. I have to say that I would love to experience it, but even though I fight, I'm a huge sissy with that type of stuff and that kind of pain. So we'll see what happens, but for sure Tisha will carry. Um, me, <laughs> Amber. <laughs> Our friend Amber's on here. She's like me. You can carry a baby for us, please. Then no, I don't have to do it. Just yeah, kidding. Stay fighting and stay in shape, eh? Um, we've been to Canada. To I fought in Canada once, and then I've been there prior twice to um, Calgary and not Quebec, somewhere else. Can't I'm going to places. school for orthopedic surgeon. Um, what would you name the baby? That's, that's a, a secret. Surprise. <laughs> we have a name. That's a secret. Um, dang, if I could block you, Joy, right now, I would. Just leave it. Who cares? It pissed me off. Um, another one was, uh, what are our pet peeves? So, she has more pet Rocky peeves than me. <laughs> Monster babies, those big shoulders. Yeah, she has more pet peeves than, hi, Ryan. She has more pet peeves than I do. Um, mine would be just, like, traffic, um, grumpy people. Like, when Raquel wakes up in the morning, she's grumpy. That's because Tisha's like, hey, wake up. No, I used to be like Who that. Who wants to wake up like I that? I used to be like that. Now I'm just like, go softly. I say, hey, <laughs> got 20 minutes left. Raquel's pet peeves. Tell me your pet peeves. Uh, my pet peeves are when people chomp. So Tisha drives me nuts every meal. She's my little cow. I uh, thought I was. <laughs> um, I actually do have a lot of pet peeves. It's, I don't know. That's my main one. It's the main one that just for some reason there can be a lot of commotion and a lot of noise. But if you're chomping, like, I just zone into that and then I'm super frustrated. How many kids do you want? Um, I want two for sure. Me too. Two to three. Uh, I can't read those. They're kind of far. Well, scroll. You can scroll here. Maybe she's grumpy because you dumped snow on her. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, that was a little cold. Ever thought about breast implants? I have, actually, but I don't want to be put to sleep. No, all natural. And I'm not letting Tisha get them either. <laughs> I'm not controlling, but that is one thing. No way, Jose. I, I just don't want to be put to sleep. So <laughs> that's probably why I've never get them. We want more of Mama Bear. How many animals? We have eight. Six dogs and two cats. I was actually just talking to Tisha, though, tonight while I was doing dishes that... After all this is said and done, because our humane society here, which I'm not a fan of, they actually want to put lots of the animals to sleep. They want to euthanize them just because adoptions aren't really happening. So I want to open an animal shelter and just save everything. Um, are, have you been getting along locked up? Depends on the minute. <laughs> Today was eh. She would put a workout, and I didn't want to do some of the workouts, and she, you know, had Told a fit. Told her to go away. She could do her own workout later. Get out of my room. <laughs> Your room was the garage. That's a room. Uh-huh. Uh, favorite boxing gloves. I don't really have any favorite boxing gloves. Honestly, I like my Beast Coast Colorado ones. I guess. Speaking of that, I need some new ones. My Velcro is done. Uh, how did you start your career? Um, I just, you go ahead and go ahead first. Uh, I started my career. I was huge into... Every other sport, basketball, softball, volleyball, doing all the different things. Um, I actually never grew up with any martial arts training besides the fact of fighting my guy cousins all the time, especially my cousin Tommy, who's five months um, older than me. We just, hmm. So I grew up being a huge tomboy, always roughhousing with everybody. Uh, I ended up breaking my back, didn't take any scholarships besides an academic one, and uh, it was more so a joke with me to get into fighting. Um, it just looked really intense. Well, my mom and I were training, getting back into shape, and uh, I seen the first team that I started with, they were training, and they were on those little, like, half-inch mats um, that you do the puzzle pieces together, and they were actually doing judo and all kinds of crazy stuff, just tossing each other around. So I told her I was going to do that, and... I think she just thought it would be something to get me going again. But then when I came home four months later and showed her my first amateur fight poster and that we were going to Wyoming for the first fight, she about flipped out. And now here I am 13 years later. Yep. Uh, mine was kind of a transition. I did karate my whole life from 5 to 17. Then uh, 
I went to college in my first year of college. I gained like 10 pounds, so I actually wanted to box. I went, stepped and in, walked into the local gym, and I said, hey, you know, I have these skills. And they said, you should try Muay Thai. I was like, what's that? And uh, so I tried Muay Thai. I was a kickboxer for like three or four years before MMA. And then I was dating somebody and ended up like joining a jiu-jitsu gym. Uh, and at that gym, they didn't really have any MMA. So then I found American Top Team. At first, I went there and I didn't have the money to train there. So I couldn't attend. But then about a year later, um, I was actually working for a company that the owner of ATT um, owned. And I got in contact with him and he allowed me to train at the gym um, for free. And I went pro. And then just from there on, it, it went. Uh, American Top Team was my home. And now Colorado is my home. And I do go train back there. But karate, Muay Thai, MMA, I guess. Who rubs whose feet soles and who has better feet? I'll say Raquel has better feet. Like, oh, she has prettier feet because feet I have bunions, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, we rub each other's feet, though. I told her there's this one cream that I really liked. So I was like, if you buy me the cream, I'll give you foot rubs. And so that happens from time to time. Time to time. Blue moon. <laughs> Tat removals. They're going good. I, uh, majority of my tattoos would probably be removed already. Um, I just haven't been able to stay consistent because I don't like to get treatments and then go roll around in the gym. So it's just been on my free time when I can get in there and do some stuff. Is it hard to fight a friend? I wouldn't say I, I've fought a friend friend yet. So I don't know. You have. Um, I think for me, it's kind of one of those things where we became friends because of the sport. And especially the ones that I've become friends with. Uh, they all happen to be in my division. So we... I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things where you know it's going to eventually happen. You just got to kind of tune it out and business is business. And then you can go from there. Do, 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 do. Don't worry. Don't worry. I want to sell my husband eBay during this. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Um, one of my favorite movies of all time is Sandlot. And that's due to my brother. He watched it like every day. And then I really liked um, Blood In, Blood Out. Um, really into like gang prison movies true stories documentaries and blood sport because of karate we watched it like every sleepover mm, my favorite movie it just depends but my all-time favorite movie is love and basketball let me read some more what happened to the sparring match Raquel? oh that's tomorrow sunday in colorado oh we're... i don't know if we're doing that live tomorrow oh we are mm. dm me give me the two gloves you. Thank you, East Coast. What else did you do as a profession before fighting? Um, I've never had like a professional job um, just because I was in college the whole time. Um, but I always worked like phone jobs actually, like during college, uh, answering services, stuff like that. You guys want to know where Raquel worked? And she I loved used to work job? at Sam's Club for a while, and I drove the forklift and stocked the coolers and the freezers. Um, on Netflix right now, I'm watching On the Block. I just started it. I'm in episode three. And we've been watching Scandal. It's not new, but we're almost finished with that. After this, I think we're doing House of Cards. Yeah. We're kind of just going through finding all the shows right now. Your nickname, because your name, or is it an underlying reason? Uh, my nickname actually came from high school uh, in volleyball. Um, I didn't do... I think I was actually late to practice, and then on top of that, I jumped into the drill and did it wrong. And my coach at the time was trying to yell at me, and inst instead of saying Raquel, for some, for some reason, she kept trying to say Raquel, but she kept stuttering Rock. So my nickname actually started as Rock, and then it just kind of transitioned into Rocky during some of my games when the team would start chanting. Um, and... So it actually has nothing to do with fighting. It's just a nickname that developed over the years. Our next fights. So unfortunately, my fight got canceled, but I was scheduled to fight next week in Ohio versus M Mizuki. Um, it's postponed until who knows when. So that means Raquel doesn't really know when she's fighting either. Because yeah, I originally wanted to finish this semester in school and get it out of the way and then fight probably towards midsummer or August before the wedding in September. And then... But with all this going on, we'll see what happens. I'm 30 years old. I'm 31. My birthday's in August. Hers is two weeks later. September. September. So we're the same age for two weeks. <clears throat> um. 
I was shirtless before this. She just made me put on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many tattoos do you guys have, and which one is your favorite? She uh, has probably too many to count. Yeah, I have a lot of tattoos. And my favorite ones are actually the ones on my wrist. Um, they're my grandparents' actual heartbeats from uh, EKG during their doctor visits. I think I have, like, six tattoos. Um, don't really have a favorite. Um, I was said yesterday on the live thing. It's funny because when I was 18, I got a tattoo that says strength and faith on my back. And when she was 21, she has strength and faith on her arm. So I thought that was really cool when we started dating. But I got it first, so it was cool. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Why are you getting your tattoos removed? Uh, I'm just getting them removed. I like art. And over the years, as I've grown up, like all my tattoos have meaning. So it's not just because I went out and got a tattoo being young and dumb. Um, my just art style has changed a lot. Uh, and so I just started removing them. And the ones I'm actually removing, I've kind of been combining into my sleeve. So just because, like I said, I mean, they have meaning. So it's just moving them around. And I guess torturing myself, going through a little bit of pain. How do you like living in Colorado Springs? I love living in Colorado Springs. I was born and raised here. Um, I thought about moving twice, once for college and then uh just another time for whatever reason but with our lifestyle with our lifestyles we actually have the opportunity to travel all the time so Colorado for me I mean I love the high altitude training and then my family is here which is huge for me I'm family oriented and then the outdoors uh matches everything about me I like Colorado Springs I've only been here for a few years now um but it's really nice it's very different from Florida um, I always said I would move from Florida, never really to a cold place. I always said if it was cold, it would be um, New York, but uh, Colorado is. I she love used it. to think that I was a huge complainer when I'd go visit her in Florida because I would say it was too hot. And she's like, no, it feels amazing. And now when she goes back to Florida and visits, she's there for less than 24 hours. And she's like, it's too hot here. I want to go back home. <laughs> now she feels my pain. Someone says, drinking Bud Light seltzers, what's your drink? I don't drink, but Raquel seldomly does. What is your drink? Um, if I drink just because of how much I train and stuff, uh, drinking and then growing up, I was a crazy child and I would drink all the time. So I actually am not a fan of liquor anymore. Uh, I like wine and ciders. I like raspberry iced tea. <laughs> we're stocked up on it um tony or khabib i'm for khabib i'm a khabib fan it's gonna be a good fight uh but i mean i'm a fan of both so we'll see who's the bigger slob <laughs> i am always cleaning up after her uh i'm not a slob but <laughs> she's definitely i'm definitely more like being who's more unorganized i'm life. definitely unorganized um Raquel is definitely a better deep cleaner than I am. I'm one of those, you know, just so you don't see the mess type of cleaners. Um, favorite colors? My favorite colors are green and red. My favorite color is purple, but not to wear. To wear, I love olive green and mauves. To wear, you look really I good like in all black the and colors. white. colors. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh how was puerto rico puerto rico was fun it was a lot of fun it was great to get away um the people there are absolutely amazing but all the stray animals broke my heart i just wanted to bring them all home yeah we had a really good time with my family there and uh i don't know it was really nice my family had never been on vacation together in the 30 years that i've been uh on this earth so Raquel really pushed I was like kind of emotionally like should i go should i should i not go because i was in the middle of fight camp but um she said, you know, you should really go because you might not get this opportunity again. So I did go, and it was awesome. I was really glad. Now I'm really glad we went when we went because it was right before this uh, pandemic happened, and uh, now I don't have a fight, so I'm glad I went. How many more years do you think you'll compete professionally? Mm, I've contemplated back and forth. When I was 24, I was like, oh, I'm going to fight until I'm 30. Now that I hit 30... And I'm 31. I feel like I'll probably go until about 35. We'll see. For me, probably like two or three more years. I really want to have kids. So uh, we'll see. Blood in, blood out. That's a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you, you want to do that one. Which one is that? You don't have to, but if you want to. That one, you don't. What would you do? Oh. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. If we were in the same division, who would win? <laughs> Me! Definitely me. <laughs> Definitely me. 
Uh, we already talked about that. What's, what's my your, major? What's your favorite artist in terms of music and song? I love all music. Um, I really can't go wrong with music, but I think just everyday life is country music. Uh, we've been on Brett Young playlists lately, so I'll say that. I like top 40 uh, country, mu- uh, country music, of course. Brett Young, Sam Hunt. Uh, I really love Halsey, Rihanna. Um, it's pretty. Oh, and I, I have some moments where I put on my twerk music, and I like to do that. Tisha's uh, first drink will be at our wedding. Uh, yeah. What's that? Uh, I'm missing some. Do people underestimate you? Because of my height. All the time. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, I've never had a drink. Um, I was going to have a drink if one of us got a knockout, but we'll see if that happens. Ozark is back on Friday. Yes, oh, we will be watching Ozark. So excited. We like that. How do I like the snow? I like the snow, actually. It's really nice. I feel like it's actually warmer on snow days. Maybe because the sun is like glistening off the snow and stuff. Uh, but you guys asked if we were at the same weight class. So if we we're at the same weight class, she still would be taller than me, but I couldn't I make her. Tisha can make 125. I cannot make 125. Of course I can make 125. <laughs> so we can never be at the same weight class. Uh, a favorite amusement park or park you wish to visit? I actually do not like rides. I'm breaking her in, but my favorite one is Cedar Point. I've never been there, but... Favorite I, tough fight. I grew up going to... Um, Universal and Disney being in South Florida. I just really don't like rides. I go on one or two and that's it. Favorite tough fight? I'm biased. I like my fight with Jessamyn Duke. Uh, I don't know. Don't really have a favorite one. <laughs> favorite Disney park? Uh, Epcot, definitely. Do you have a favorite um, Disney park? Epcot is the one with like all the different places. That one's a cool one to walk around and drink. Animal Kingdom is cool too. <laughs> I like Animal Kingdom. Do do do. Are you both barefoot now? Uh, I got socks on. I am a Leo, and she is a what? Maybe we shouldn't get married. What am I, girl? Libra, right? Oh, jeez. Virgo. Virgo. <laughs> what is it? I'm not into those things, so, but I know I'm a Leo. Who fell asleep first last night? Tisha, of I'm course, a night owl. Of course me. Of course me. But I think we did actually go to bed at the same time for one. Because weekends, I told you. Weekends, no. we go to bed together. During the week, we don't. Right now, she's on spring break, so we'll probably go to bed together. But usually, I fall asleep first. And she's up doing homework. Did we like our time in Australia? Would you come back to explore? Yeah, we, were, we loved our time in Australia. We're actually going to go to New Zealand for spring break. I would like to experience a different part of Australia. Like uh, We were obviously in... Melbourne, which is complete city. I felt like I was in New York, um, but I would like to go more like out back and experience that. When she hugs you, your your tats match up. We have a, a similar tat right here. What's your favorite dinner date, girl? You 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 keep going over me. I wasn't finishing my. You're going my slow. I'm trying to just keep up with the questions. Oh, here. stop! Look, they're rolling. I in. know. God <laughs> dang it! You guys are so fast. We have the same tattoo right here. It's my heartbeat and her heartbeat. And then it says mucho mucho. Oh, you're... Because that's our saying, mucho mucho. Ugh, dang it. You guys are going so damn fast. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, we already watched. We already did that one. Doo-doo-doo-doo. Hi, Indonesia. Favorite submission. Go. Rear naked choke. Uh, bulldog choke. Uh, what's your favorite dinner date? <laughs> um, we go to Texas Roadhouse a lot. Anything that involves steak. I like Olive Garden. I'm definitely no, not like fancy, fancy. I feel Thank un- you. I feel uncomfortable in fancy restaurants. When are we getting married? September. Hopefully. We'll who see. proposed to who first? I proposed first. She did. But I gave her her own proposal as well. She did. It was pretty cute. She was like, you know, you're a female too. You should experience this. So we were actually out taking engagement photos when she had her whole little proposal set up with... Um, a lot of people who are very close to us in the family. And her grandma and grandpa were holding a sign saying, will you marry me? And I had her blindfolded and I walked and her off. And she walked me off the curb and I rolled my ankle. <laughs> she didn't roll and her ankle. she opened the ring to propose to me and it went flying. It was great. <laughs> it did drop, yes. <laughs> but, and then, um, 
as she's walking up, I had hired somebody to um, play our favorite song acoustically, Say You Won't Let Go. So it was all, she was heard it before she took her thing off. I have some really cute pictures and her face is like, ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I'm behind, guys. Sorry. Favorite cartoon or Disney characters? I really loved Cow and Chicken. I love uh, Scooby-Doo and the Lion Hey Arnold, Rugrats. Mulan. I want to see we did the want to actual see that. one coming out. March 27th, but it's not coming out March 27th. <laughs> I'm from South Florida, from Broward County. I wasn't born there. I was born in Fall River, Massachusetts. Raquel was born in... Oh, oh, so you can talk. Here, Colorado <laughs> Do we snowboard? I've gone once. She grew up doing it. I grew up snowboarding. We were going to do it this season, but I had my fight, so we didn't go. We should have went now that we didn't have a fight. But uh, hopefully we can go. Well, probably not going to happen this season. Do, 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 do. Was it easy for you to make your pro debut? Nope. I was stressed out. I actually was getting ready to walk out to the cage and we were by the exit doors and I looked at my coach and asked him if we could just leave. And he has never let me live that down. For me, it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy once I got in there, but uh, just everything, there was so much going into it. It was, it was weird. Do you play basketball in your free time? I do. And I actually still play basketball when I'm getting ready to start cutting weight. We play as a team. Do do do. Have we been to Newfoundland or Labrador? Never heard of Labrador, but I don't think we've been there. Aren't those dogs? <laughs> I, I, that's what I thought. They're dogs, too. <laughs> Plans after MMA. Uh, we want to open up a gym. Now she wants to open up a foster We're just going to do it all. We're going to open up a gym. For We're going to open up an animal shelter. And I'm going to be an orthopedic surgeon doing surgery on people. I'd like to work for a nonprofit, so if we do do an animal shelter, that would be cool. Ah, crap. Um, da -da -da -da. What's your favorite candy? I'm a big candy fan. I like Skittles. I like gummy bears. I like Swedish fish. I like uh, like Cadbury milk chocolate and almonds. I haven't eaten candy in so long, I can't even remember the name of the one that I like. It's uh, peanut M&M's. What's that little white ball with the coke? It's covered in coconut. Oh, I know. The fancy ones. Rochers? Something like that? Something like that. I don't remember. She likes this fancy candy. And I like uh, the sweet tart candy that my mom bought me for Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. Give that face. You were oh, you too. said sweet tarts, but she they're like gobstoppers, actually. Those are gobstoppers. When you that's have a baby, make sure you give birth at St. Francis. It's the best. Is that here? Yeah. Oh, that's the one up the street where I go to my meetings. Do, 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 do. Favorite foods? Uh... I like, like, steak, rice, beans, and fries. That'd be, like, my favorite meal. I love pho, steak. I actually love anything. I eat. She does. I'm so picky, though. Who's the weirdest? Tisha. She's a very unique character. I love it. Oh, I'm glad you love it. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Microblading or eye rod tinting? See... Thing is, I did get my eyebrows microbladed, but I, I need to do it again. But I don't, I don't know. They didn't stay on me both times, unfortunately. So, but I like eyebrow tending. Just doesn't last enough with fighting. Favorite burger? Yours, In and Out. I actually don't like In and Out. Don't think that I could. I love Freddy's. Down for Freddy's at any time. That's where I hide out and watch Netflix and don't tell Raquel. And then I tell <laughs> Raquel because I feel bad. Because you feel bad. More like because I go to the trash can outside and open it to throw some stuff away and there's a big old bag of Freddy's out there. <clears throat> what, do you like burgers? What burger place? You like that burger spot we go to? Uh, I like Bad Daddy's or um, there's actually a place in uh, Estes Park, Colorado that has really good elk burgers and bison burgers. Yeah, I like that place too. Who's the best? Best at what? Depending on what you're talking about. Does Rocky Strong. like Massachusetts? Boston in the house. Did you like Massachusetts? Yeah, Massachusetts was cool. But where I'm from, like, Boston area is really nice. Where I'm from, Fall River, it's not, honestly, the nicest place uh, to go. But she saw, you know, my humble beginnings. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading yours, uh, K. Krume. I know you inbox me a lot, but I don't know how to say your last name. Sorry. Best is to train in or around the springs. 
Mm. It's really hard Depends here. Depends on what you want to train. Yeah. There's not too many, like, MMA-based schools here, so that's why we train in, like, five All-time places. All-time favorite fight, not your favorite fight. I would actually have to say I've had a few favorite fights, but I think the one that actually just won me over was a uh, Joanna and uh, Zhang. Hell that yeah, was that was a, good. A great fight. Do 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 do. Will you come to Bragham Air Base this summer? If we're invited, yes. Is it hard to watch each other uh, fight? No, I love watching Tisha fight. Um, I one hundred percent believe in her capabilities and. I mean, I get nervous because I do care and I don't want to see her get hurt. But at the same time, like, I'm completely confident in her and I just like to see her shine and do her thing. Uh, for me, it's very nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> She's just very emotional. Yes, definitely am. Uh, I love your bulldog. Hey, I'm reading about the bulldog. I'm trying to get back to where we were. Uh, do I speak Spanish? I do speak Spanish. Where did you get her? Oh, it's a her. Her name is Myla Chunks. I got her here in Colorado Springs, um, and we call her our Gucci baby because she is, oh man, she's a mini bulldog, but she's definitely had her share of issues, but she's my baby. When I was younger, I did uh, think about law enforcement, but at this point in life, um, Put me in a leg leg. I don't think so. Still, not, I don't I'll think do it's it. for me right now. What's a household appliance you can't live without? She can't live without the microwave. Why the microwave? I don't know. You're always at it. Because I'm making food and heating Household up. appliance I can't live without. My TV. Well, I don't know why you would say the, the <laughs> microwave. My coffee pot. Just because know. mine makes hot water and everything. So that way I can either have tea or coffee. Got TP. We definitely do have some TP. TP. What's your worst injuries? I haven't had any really bad uh, ones. I would actually have to say my worst injury was when I was originally scheduled to fight Amanda for December, and then we had to reschedule, and I came back way too soon with that one, was when I actually broke my leg. Um, I was pretty close to amputation on that one. So I kind of lucked out in life, but I've had a lot of nerve damage, and it's been a hard comeback with that. And we did meet in MMA if you're coming in uh, late on your this. Your dogs are pissed. My dogs are, are downstairs, yes. They're downstairs right now. and they're barking up a storm. They're running the garage, but they're mad because they all got baths last night and they decided today was going to be a great day to go roll in the mud. So they're not allowed in the house currently. Yeah. They're dirty. They're, they have like, you know, if I got canceled, postponed, they have like this much thick mud. So they're not coming on our cream carpets. Um, I'm 5'7. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, did it, did it. Fastest time on the incline. Mine is usually around like 40, 41. I'm not that great. Uh, my fastest time was when I was a lot younger. I was 22. I did it in 19 minutes and 27 seconds. I don't believe the, her. <laughs> the uh, news actually wanted to come out and record it. And, um, and then people wanted to challenge me going up it. And since then, they have redone the incline twice. And now with it being currently the way it is. And then... Um, me going through a ton of surgeries. I actually haven't really timed myself. Um, I would like to time myself and then train it like I used to train and see what time I can actually get back to. What's your favorite uh, go-to workout? Anything to break a sweat. What's your top deadlift? My top deadlift? Mm -hmm. uh, 345. I think mine's like 265. And my top squat was 355. I don't know about squat stuff. And my top bench press was... 235. 225. 225. Any phobias? Yes. She is a scared, is scared, is a scared, is scared of birds. Ooh. I oh my don't goodness. like closed spaces. Uh, claustrophobic. Did it do? Are watching you tonight? Hi, Johanna. Thanks for watching us. Hello. Mm -hmm. Would you ever become a firefighter? For me, that's not in the books. I think I'd be good she'd, at firefighting. She'd be good at that, I think, definitely. Uh, we're really behind, trying to get most of your answers. Uh, hi, Victoria Cardova. Hello. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I remember. What's that say? Classy? 
Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Amber. We love you. Amber. Do we listen to rap music? Uh, Raquel does sometimes. Yeah, I made her listen to it today while we were working out. <laughs> yep, I did fight for NAAFS. That's when I got my little highlight reel. TKO. Uh, you're welcome, guys. Thank you for being on here and watching us. Yeah, I mean, for joining us. Yeah. Do you want to see the bottom of my feet? I'm going to show oh, you just to show you. Oh, my goodness. They're like... I haven't had a pedicure for a while. a pedicure. But that's the bottom of my feet, guys. It's not that great. You see, I have some calluses here. I have a bunion. <laughs> hey, hey, just hey, being hey. real. Uh, I was in the UFC first just because my weight division was offered before two shows. Yep. And then when my weight division came in, uh, they brought me in. How will you travel with your kids? We're going to throw them in our suitcase and take them. No, I'm just kidding. They'll be going with us. Raquel will be the one holding them in those backpack things in their, you know, on her bosom. <laughs> on your bosom, your chest. Oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> we went on the basketball. Uh, me, Tisha cannot even dribble a ball. At any type of thing, Raquel usually wins. Whatever it is, unfortunately. She's, this girl's, like, good at everything. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I do love her dimples. What's your favorite dog breeds? Probably English Bulldogs. And uh, I like any dog breeds. I actually really love Pit Bulls. Um, I grew up with them. And then I love Labs. Uh, we recently lost um, our Lab in October. But Labs are great dogs, especially for hiking and stuff. And then obviously my little Mila Chunks, uh, English Bulldog. WWE or visiting performance centers in Florida? Uh, I don't know about WWE. I mean, I've if they asked really us, about it. yeah, if they asked us to do it, I mean, I'd try it. Yeah. I, I'm not in school right now. I finished in 2017, and she's currently in school. I fought Angela Hill in uh, Mexico City. Yes, it, that was really hard <laughs> with the altitude. Do you get a full six to eight hour sleep every night with all your training, studying, etc.? Or do um, you work on less? I get my full hours. For yeah. the most part, I get full hours uh, when I'm getting oh, closer crap. to exams and stuff like that. I get a little less just because, like I said, I'm a night owl. And then on top of that, when Tisha goes to sleep and all the kids are asleep, it's easier for me to just focus on myself and stuff. So I'll get less sleep, but I do really well at managing it all. Do do do. We like to gamble. I started quarterly. gambling because of her. So we well, go yes, quarterly. I got Tisha into gambling. <laughs> oh, hello, coming up aces. We are healthy, thank God. Uh, sitting here, getting to know you guys, eating ice cream. What type I'm of sure ice cream are you, are you eating? I would love to be eating ice cream right now. I would. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Amber. We love you. Oh, she's leaving? Yeah, she's just signing off. Bye! Uh, How did we meet? Invicta Fighting Championships in 2012. Y'all are way further than me. How much weight do you cut for your fights? Um, I usually cut... I have always walked naturally between 150 and 155. And obviously I fight at 135. Uh, but during fight week, I usually only cut a, anywhere from 11 to 13 pounds. Um, I've thought about competing at 105 before, but, uh, currently right now it's not in the books for me. 115 is perfect for me. I actually, um, if you follow me really closely, uh, you know that I've been on some medication for my mental health and they've been working for me, but unfortunately one of them has, um, caused me to gain some weight. So this is actually going to be the was going to be the first fight I'd have to like actually um, lose some weight for. So uh, yeah, one hundred five couldn't happen right now. She normally cuts about three pounds, <laughs> but now she has a weight cut coming up. How do you deal with homophobia in MMA? We've stopped going to events because of reactions from fans. You know, I really don't care. Um, when I was on The Ultimate Fighter, that kind of became the face of who I am, just because uh, at the time there was somebody really struggling with it. Um, so they asked me if I'd be willing to talk about it. I've always been proud of who I am and, um, that'll never change. I mean, I feel like we were all made to be who we are. That's what makes this world unique. We all have our own beliefs and, uh, just different things. Um, my happiness doesn't need to consist of yours and vice versa, but 
I'm never gonna judge anybody on that. So I just live my life doing me and I have a passion for MMA. It's a passion inside of me. Uh, and so just because there's homophobia in it and everything else and the rest of our life that comes around with it, it's not gonna stop me from having the hopes and desires that I wish to achieve. What's your nationality? I'm a little weta from my dad and Mexican and Native American. They don't, half them don't. <laughs> As my dad would say, I'm redneck and Mexican and Native American. Okay. Uh, my dad's Puerto Rican. My mom is Portuguese. A giant kettle dog. Those are pretty dogs. Uh, da, da, da. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm reading about the dog. It's piece. okay. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Mm. Do you like leggings? I do wear leggings and Raquel wears leggings, yes. Mm -hmm. um, would you tattoo your kids' names? Yes, I would. I don't think I would do that. Am I still doing karate? No, I don't do that anymore. I just practice all sorts of MMA stuff. We live in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Only here for the Do bulldogs. I miss Florida? I just miss my She's family. covered in mud. Maybe I'll show her later. Do we go to Cripple Creek? That's where we go. We do. <laughs> vanilla ice cream. Okay. I see you, vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Are you still eating all the different Oreos? Currently, I have just the regular Oreos right now, the mini ones. I have two bags um, <laughs> in my pantry. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Definitely Chris Cyborg. G Gabby Garcia, I don't think she's really that great at MMA. I don't even know if you know who Gabby Garcia is. Mm -mm. Yeah, I didn't think you would. What sports brand Jesus. do you like? What's that mean? Sports brand do you like? What does that mean? I don't know what you mean by that. Nike, oh, like that? Those um, sports brands? I guess it is, huh? Depends on what you're talking about. But um, I like Adidas a lot. Tisha wears everything. So do I. Yeah, we, we wear everything, yeah. ATT is not open right now, no. Habla español. Mm, un poquito. No, I'm sorry. I understand. No, I said speak Spanish. No, I don't want to speak Spanish. <laughs> I was reading a different comment on there. Uh, I try to speak to speak her Spanish. To teach her Spanish. Spanish. Say what? Que. Who? Go. Who? Do you drink no. coffee ever? Who? I drink. <coughs> I drink coffee on a daily basis. Well, uh. I go through phases, so I haven't had coffee in a month and a half, and for the past four days, I've been, like, all about coffee, but I love coffee and hot tea. Tisha, on the other hand, does not drink coffee. She tried to buy a Dunkin' Donuts cinnamon roll coffee, thought it would be the greatest thing for her, and it turned out to be my coffee. Uh, yeah, I, I drink hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. More we funny do videos. It's hard. I think we should just make a YouTube channel. I think is I don't know. I have a YouTube channel, but I don't know how to like edit issues. videos and stuff like that. Or I would. And it's really hard to like do pranks on her, so you guys can see, because it's hard to like hide a self a cell phone. And then if I had a third person, it'd be a lot easier. But it's hard. Gotta get creative. I was promised twerking. I don't remember anybody saying that. I agree. You should twerk for them. You won't even speak Spanish. <laughs> you'll say, uh, Hi, Nikki. Which one does housework, laundry, cooking? I do cooking. I do all of the rest. And I cook breakfast. No, I do cooking and laundry. And, and you cook breakfast like two times a week. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Don't get Tisha started on she this. She does the cleaning. I, have to do I the cleaning. do the laundry and the cooking. I bought us a beautiful house. And I love <laughs> this house. But I have some serious OCD. And so cleaning this house, I absolutely hate it. And Tisha is like my child sometimes. She likes to go behind me and constantly make messes. So then I have to clean all over again. Incorrect. Yes, we do want um, kids in the future. Wedding date? Uh, September. Dot, dot, dot. We don't know. We'll see what happens. Mm. Hot chocolate game we out there. <laughs> yep. Where are we getting mad? Mar Mar Maddie that. Mary that. Uh, we have some locations in mind, but everything now is on the back burner because honestly, we were gonna like Teach start the doing dog it. How to hold the camera? <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna start doing it after my fight, and like a lot of places are closed right now, so it's kind of it's settled. 
work. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Pre-workout supplement. I don't do any of that stuff. Do you? No. Nope. We take daily vitamins, probiotics, and right now a whole lot of emergency. Tiny tornado because I'm short, fast, and I used to throw a lot of spin kicks and stuff in kickboxing because I was a kickboxer before MMA. <laughs> when are you fighting Colby coming to knock him out? Do you have a love soundtrack? Do you what? Yeah, do you have a love soundtrack? Do you have a love soundtrack? She has a lot of playlists. She's really into music. Love it. <clears throat> I love that prank with Tisha full. What? Full mouth of cereal. It almost fell for it too. I was like, dang, Rocky, you broke her neck. Yeah, oh. it was actually um, dry spaghetti. <laughs> but still. You guys have wedding dresses picked out? Not yet. Nope. Nope. I don't know if she's going to show up in a wedding dress or a pant thing. Um, dun, dun, dun. I told her she shows up in a wedding dress and might like have a heart attack and be like, who's that girl? I have my wedding dress and my nails did. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, what is the most you've ever weighed? For me, uh, it's actually like right Ugh. now, um, 129 is the most I've ever weighed. And that's because of my medicine. Um, normally, I'm like 121 pounds. But ever since I started this medicine, I weight like skyrocketed. I think I'm like 125 right now, 126. But uh, it got to 129 and it was there for like two months. So the most I ever weighed was 172. Um, that was actually last year. So I fought Misha back in 2016. Um, right after that fight, I had to go into uh, two major sur well, actually three surgeries. Oh, sorry, and guys. The comeback from that has been extremely tough. Uh, haven't totally felt like myself. Um, and then obviously I went into a broken leg and then I went into the world title fight and it was just like, there was a lot of emotions coming in everything because I wanted to get out there and do what I love doing, but my body was nowhere near ready to be able to do anything. Um, after the world title fight and dealing with some more injury to that leg, uh, I kind of just tried to make myself bounce back way too fast was nowhere near the 172. I was battling weight the entire time. But then when it became the worst was actually when I was getting ready to fight Jermaine in Denver, Colorado. Um, I started battling a thyroid issue that took a huge toll on me. Um, a lot of people were out there talking shit, saying it looked like I was eating boxes of Twinkies, doing all this stuff. But on this other side, I was actually getting tested for thyroid cancer um, and trying to figure out how to get my hormones balanced while trying to figure out how to get, get out there and fight and feel like myself. Uh, that's when I actually missed weight cut. My body like completely shut down on me. Um, and so from there, I needed to take some time to myself and try to get things under control. Um, so I'm still actually battling with a little bit of weight issue. I'm a lot thicker than what I'm used to being, but it happens. And with the way we play with our bodies and we're constantly fluctuating our weight and being female athletes, I mean, that's a little, it takes a bigger toll on us too. Uh, so my weight's a little bit better, but I'm still not where I'm used to being or where I want to be. But it makes it fun because it's goals every single day and I have something to look forward to and work forward or work towards uh, when I don't have a fight coming up or just whatnot. Personal goals. What's your favorite thing that I cook? Mm, she says become a little cook. We call her Chef TT, so it kind of just depends on what she cooks. But um, I just like when she cooks in general. It's cute. I like watching her cook. Mm-hmm. Uh, when Raquel does decide to cook, she'd make some nice ribs. <sighs> Do -do -do -do. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Rose and Andrade coming up. I think uh, Rose will win. She was like beating the crap out of Andrade the last fight. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, things happen. Do -do -do -do. I'm reading you guys' things. What is it like to spar with Rose? It's really good sparring with Rose. We complement each other and make <coughs> each other, I think, um, do our best. It's fun watching them spar. They're great partners for each other. What charms do you have in your necklace, babe? Um, I have Our Lady of Guadalupe with the Mexican flag colors, and then I have Golden Gloves uh golden boxing gloves it was hard watching amanda and raquel fight just because you know 
uh, I have love for them both. Um, it was scary, you know, I didn't want any of them to get hurt. But uh, at the end of the day, it, it's the fight game, and sometimes you have to fight friends, and friends will fight, in my case, loved ones. Yep, I'm Tisha's first girlfriend. Is that a question? I didn't yeah. See that. Yeah, she is. I didn't see that one. Sorry. What are your favorite qualities about each other? Go ahead, baby. Um, Tisha's very kind and caring. She has a heart of gold. Um, she's such a little weirdo. She has a unique sense of humor, so it's fun. Um, but I love how ambitious she is and how hard she works and when she sets her mind to something um and in a weird way i like how emotional she is because it just really shows like her true feelings behind everything uh i don't know it's kind of hard to put the everything into into words um raquel is very like she has a lot of roles for me i guess you'd say she's a lover, a coach. She teaches me things. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, she is supportive. Uh, she's very, you know, easy on the eyes. Uh, Your she's, best friend. She is my best friend. Yes. <laughs> um, she's easy to get along with, but at the same time, not so easy to get along with. Um, but that's uh, just because she's, I play so many roles that sometimes I just need to like. She's, I need a break. She's, she's hard very working. Introvert, and I'm an extrovert. And so, like, our personalities are very different sometimes. And so I just, like, oh, that's all I can do. Yeah. Okay. You, like, <laughs> cut me off and I didn't oh, know. Oh, keep going. No, I like okay. hearing it. I'm hard working. <laughs> I tell her good things all the time, so she should be one. I tell her good things all the time, too. Keep going. I was that's, listening. I'm, babe, I can't even see. I can't read from here. From what one. are you in school for? Orthopedic surgeon. Who's the grumpiest? Girl behind me. Me, because Tisha drives me bonkers. Girl behind me. Is, <laughs> oh, dang it. How do I... Sorry, guys. I'm trying to fix this thing. Uh, <coughs> we do not TikTok now. You guys do TikTok. Who's, a who's a ma the, most, the most famous person you guys have met because of MMA? Uh, I met... Um, fuck, what, what was his name? Why are you cussing? Sorry. I met... What's his name? He had a broken leg at the time. You know, uh, uh, drawing or uh, no. oh no, Zach Efron. Zach Efron. After uh, one of my last fights, uh, I didn't really notice it was him at first because he had white hair at the time. But uh, yeah, I met Zach Efron. Who you, you've met some famous people. Uh, I've met a lot of people. Are y'all the jealous type? Sure am. And she she denies it, but she is. Not as much as me, but she is. I'm not really jealous. Yes, she is. I have a caring way, but I'm not really like crazy jealous. Tisha, Oof. wash out. She'll cut someone. Uh, am I supposed to wear glasses? Yes. I do have some glasses upstairs. I got eagle eyes. No way. <laughs> but I don't wear the glasses all the time. I'm supposed to wear it for like things like this. TV, reading, stuff like that. But actually the last time I went, it got a little bit worse. It's not bad at all, but it just got a little bit worse. All right. Two more minutes. A lot. I can totally I see Tisha go use my F-bomb. Bass. I, I uh, do cuss sometimes. Yeah, so it's been nice talking to you guys. We've had the last hour. I know this. two more minutes. Yes, yeah, it's an hour, one minute and 20 seconds. It only lasts an hour, so that's, I think, pretty good for you guys. Um, She's reeking. That's why she'll cut you. We love you. Thank you for being here <laughs> with us. Uh, maybe we'll do another one soon. soon we were supposed to do. Oh, I love that. What? I might see you around. What did you say? Surgeon assistant. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, she did surprise me with the house uh, right before I moved here. Um, say any last words, baby. Mm, it's been fun chatting with you guys. I'm sure that we will do this again just to talk and everybody kind of just entertain each other and stay in touch. Uh, in the meantime, you guys stay safe out there. Um, hold on to all your loved ones and uh, make sure you just really take care of yourself. Um, try things that you haven't tried before within your house and with your partner and learning different things and make it fun. Yeah. We're going to go and watch some Scandal, probably, and I'll watch no, some on the walk. No, we're going to go give our fur babies a bath so they're not so mad No, anymore. you said we're going to walk them. Oh, we're going to walk them, too. I don't know about giving them a bath tonight. We're going to walk them. But we love you guys. Right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. I Have love you. Have a good night. <laughs>
<laughs> Good <Bye>. night. <laughs>